All right, going to go south on the trail first over here and uh, then uh, see how far it goes. See if I can put in someplace uh, uh, further south next time. But this is the first sign that I saw of the trail. So, so the cool part about the Moto Trail is uh, it's for bikes also. Pretty awesome. All right, let's see uh, how far this thing goes south. Kick it up to, to four, get moving. This reminds me a lot of West Virginia. But uh, less run it out because uh, ATVs and UTVs aren't ripping through here. So West Virginia's got some pretty pipeline trail and mining access trails that uh, just go all over the place up there. Spent a bunch of time riding four wheelers and uh, side by side with my buddies up there. But uh, I can only get up there on the best years possible. It seems like I'd only get up there twice a year. My hope is to find something a little closer to home, a little more accessible, and uh, that's what kind of drove me down this path of exploring the electric bike. And uh, this is awesome. Hey, good morning. that way Very good. All right. glad they have good markers and these markers look like they are fresh they do not look very old at all <laughs> can't see the big grass very well You can actually see off the GoPro as far as the markers go. Sad. Should have been recording this as far as uh, exercise goes. All right, turn it in right here. I guess I'll just get down to the end and then uh, restart the uh, uh, recording from there or tracking the the trail path because this isn't on all trail and I don't think it's on Strava. 
far as I can tell, this trail is uh, a brand new leg, at least the Palmetto Trail portion is. Looks like I'm close to a road now. It actually does say Palmetto Trail answers right there. Nice. All right, I'll drop a link in the description for uh, this is basically the Watery Bridge going towards Sumter. Columbia's back that way. But uh, this is actually an entrance to the Palmetto Trail right here. Would not have guessed that. You can see the little sign over there behind the red gate, which generally to me that means, uh, you know. Do not come through here, but uh, looks nice and fresh. So I'm recording this on all trail and then also doing a uh, workout recording too. So I'm not sure which one's gonna make more sense to share with everybody, but all right, I'm gonna see how far I can run the Palmetto Trail before I'm out of juice on my battery and I need to run back to my truck. I'd say where I parked is probably uh, safer. Uh, it's inside of the Heritage Reserve. But uh, if you're trying to run this trail at night or something, or trying to walk it, um, you can come through that entrance that I just came through, it looks like, which is kind of cool. All right, let's see if I can follow the signs. Uh, walking, it's usually uh, pretty easy not to miss the signs. Well say that uh, most of the time it's easy not to miss the sign but that one's uh, telling me to go this way which is good but on the bike you definitely need to keep your eyes up and looking Most of those gates back there, now that I'm thinking about it, you uh, you won't be able to park in front of that gate. They, uh, just about all of them say do not block the gate. So you have to play, find a place that uh, kind of out of the way. You might be able to chuck yourself up alongside the road or something.
me, this is just as pretty as going up to North Carolina. I mean, there's not. Hills aren't quite as big, but North Carolina mountains are so enclosed, you can't hardly see them anyways, unless you're up on a parkway or up on top of a bald hill or something. So, it's just uh, 30 minutes from my house. Pretty awesome. Meadow signage. I also just put my uh, clipless pedals on. These things are so old, but uh, definitely feel like I get a lot more power. I'm able to pull on the on the pedal up. All right, so this is where I parked. I think it's a pretty good parking spot. Can I do it without putting my foot down? Yes. Um, it's definitely secluded. So, and I didn't see the Palmetto Trail entrance, or I didn't see an easy way to it from the first information center. I think the sign says that this thing is uh, open from 30 minutes before sunrise to 30 minutes after sunset. Uh, Palmetto Trail this way to the right. So we keep following these signage. I mean, to me, with the exception of camping, I mean, this is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Kind of slow down around, people walking. Hello again. marsh low-lying area through here low-lying area this is some kind of land co-op to our left that uh, definitely does not want people to be uh, trespassing but we're about to take a hard ride right across a couple of little bridges which is kind of cool and then we'll be in full-blown Nice little stream, dark, dark water stream. That's part of the co-op that way and land abandonment this way. that way that you can go along. Where is that? Yeah. That horse trail back there, not a Palmetto Trail. Hopefully I didn't miss it. Alright, this is the second information center as you're coming in the main road. Uh, Palmetto Trail still saying go forward, but I'm gonna stop here and just uh, note the drop pin location. So this is Goodwill and Duck Pond is the road um, crossroads here. But I'm gonna grab this drop pin so I can put it in the description too. Got nice big area for horse trailers like this is. I guess whenever it's equestrian time, they uh, they show up in forces. All right, got the drop pin saved for this uh, horse trailer parking here and. Uh, Gonna keep ripping on down the road that is currently the Palmetto Trail. See where it jumps off. Eight oh seven in the morning. Absolutely beautiful. A lot of the other. Uh, you know, these gates and stuff, like this stuff right here is all like walk-in only. At least that's what it says. Yeah, it says like foot traffic uh, welcome or foot, foot traffic invited. So, I mean, for somebody that's hiking, this might be uh, pretty awesome. We'll see how much I enjoy the, the biking aspect of it. 
turnip patch and Goodwill, Crossroad. There's a uh, mountain, you know, hill. <laughs> I guess it's 300 something feet. So right here at Hickory Nut and Goodwill, Palmetto Trail hooks off and goes uh, this way. So if you keep going left back there, you'll go towards, uh, I kept calling it Crooks Mountain with an R, but uh, it's Cooks Mountain. I guess it's 300 and something feet above sea level. And then the Watery River is 100 and something feet above sea level at this point. Um, very beautiful drive. Uh, you just kind of follow that road up and, uh, and uh, it is really pretty to look over the river. I got a nice little picnic area up there. Shot a little short video. So this is Loop Road to the left. We're going to go to the right. It's come out of trail this way still. And down this way, there's actually a gate that uh, blocks road traffic. But you could technically drive into here and bike from here, which is, I don't know. I kind of like driving, uh, driving dirt roads and seeing nature, being in nature. I don't know why I'm drawn to dirt over, over pavement, but I am. Definitely grew up riding dirt bikes. And All right, so this is where I've not seen past. So this is a uh, Palmetto Trail here, and it looks like we're going to the right here. But there's just roads everywhere. And my assumption is, is that as long as it's on the Palmetto Trail, uh, it says you can bike it. So biking is good. Everything else needs to be walked is what I'm tracking. that head on a swivel at least at intersections far 3.36 miles from 378 entrance back there All right. going to the left I guess this is part of the Heritage Reserve Red Trail. I guess is what I'm seeing from that signage. Huh. 
All right, I'm working now. Trail is still straight. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, nice. The, uh, the ruts are a nice little berm for taking that corner. That's pretty cool. Still this way. <coughs> Probably breathed in a skeeter. She will uh, hit my uvula. Definitely check my uh, gag reflex, that's for sure. Ooh, all right, back out to the road. Nice. Entrance here. All right, back out onto the road. Still straight ahead. Definitely uh, feel uphill here. I'm working. Slowly working my way up Cooks Mountain. I guess. I guess that's what I'm doing. I don't know. So, might be able to get around this side with the Prius. Oh, there's a deer. Nice. Yeah, I could drive the Prius up here. Over on this side, a little bit smoother, flattened out. All right, so this is a cross street here. Uh, Google Maps wants to take you in this way if you try to route directly to Cooks Mountain. But there's a no driving foot traffic only down that way. I'm at a trail it's this way still. So be warned. All right, so Cooks Mountain is straight ahead up around this corner. Uh, Palmetto Trail is to the left. Uh, let's check it out. Yesterday, yeah, this gate was open yesterday. And uh, you can't drive through there. There's no signage on there that says you can't drive through there. But it's basically kind of straight up that little hill. Uh, less of a mountain, more of a, more of a hill. All right, so Palmetto Trail, let's go. I've not been through here. All right, this is exciting. These little berms in the middle. Uh, yep, Palmetto Trail still this way. Those burns in the middle make it a little more exciting as you're crossing over from one side to the next. It looks like they've just recently had something come through here and I don't know, some big old knobby tires now through here. Or tracks off of a bulldozer or something. I can't tell what it is. A little bumpy. But 
Yeah, I wasn't even to maintain this thing. Safety, no shooting to the right. Big orange signs. I guess that's because it's going up that hill, that Crooks Mountain or Cooks Mountain. I'm still, I'm still saying Crooks. It is definitely Cooks. I'm gonna ride the road back until I see another Palmetto Trail entrance. Oh no, down by that fish pond. See if I can't get there. And then I think I can follow that other leg of the Palmetto Trail from there. Maybe we can trace our way back to figure out where I'm supposed to be. <clears throat> back tire could probably use a little bit of air. I got too much suspension in there. It feels good, but uh, if I bottom that tire out and pinch it this far away, eight miles away from the truck, I might be a little bit sad. Big old nice honey stand up there. I guess this is all lottery uh, hunting. Uh, to be able to hunt here, you have to put your name in the lottery or something to be able to get access to it. There's a couple YouTube videos out. I don't know, eight or nine years old at this point. But uh, I think there's two of, of Cook's Mountain. But uh, I guess they have like a education or field day i think is what it's called something like that basically they have the dnr people out hanging out and talking about all the awesomeness they only showed a couple clips that i saw yeah so this is shed road and what's the cross street and river all right so palmetto trail is saying it's going both ways here but so this is to Fish Pond. I know the Palmetto Trail picks back up. Down here, at least whenever I drove it the other day. Next time I see a DNR person, I'll have to ask if uh, there's overnight camping in here. Supposedly it's open seven days a week, but I think they lock it down at night. So probably no camping, but uh, nice little uh, Jeep tent camping spot right here. I don't know what that's for. Maybe it's a turnaround spot. Um, 
There's some more walking. You can walk up this hill, so it's foot traffic only. I think it's part of like the fire break or something like that. Let's see if this has foot traffic only. Don't block access to gate. And this is uh, leaving wildlife management area. A meadow trail to the right. All right, let's go. Let's see where I got mixed up. Well, impression so far. Uh, the segments that I've rode, they're nice, but I mean, it's just basically a a not very well improved uh, dirt road. It's not a smooth dirt road, not even like as smooth as this. But uh, Palmetto Trail this way, and it looks like that side's open for horses on the left. So Palmetto Trail access here. All right, well, let's go find where I got mixed up. Man, it's overcast today, just beautiful. This is fish pond. Whoa, that is nice. All right, make sure I'm not missing any signs. That is pretty, man. Oh, little turtle. We're here to see the wildlife, right? We're in the wildlife management area. I think my daughter had a little baby turtle that she found that was uh, similar to that one. Oh, looks like uh, laying some eggs right there. That's pretty, pretty cool, man. All right. Good luck, turtle. Let's go find the Palmetto Trail. There you go, there goes the uh, Palmetto Trail sign right there. That's what we're looking for. Ah, anyways, where was that? Uh, Palmetto Trail sign right here. I was over on this road trying to find it. Knucklehead. That's all right. <whistles> little duck's calling for something. All right, come out of trail still this way. Cute little duck. All right, what we got going on here? Oh yeah, see another another Palmetto Trail sign. Nice. This way, obviously, to the right. All right, right beside uh, the fish pond here in the watery heritage preserve. Um, so GoPro battery overheated or GoPro itself overheated. So I'm gonna turn around at this point and then save this location and uh, Probably gonna bring my kiddos next time. This is way too awesome. It looks like it might turn into a little bit of single track right there. What I was complaining about. How awesome is that? All right, I'm gonna book it back and uh, go hang out with kiddos. All right, just making it back to the truck. I got 19% battery. And uh, let's see where I stand as far as distance goes. Oh, all right. Uh, 15.82, pretty good. Had a little bit of extra battery life. Uh, I gotta say these little clipless pedals, man, that's, uh, forgot how awesome they are. They're dangerous as heck, you gotta learn how to ride with them, but uh, definitely give you more power. Oh, also there's a shooting range nearby, so uh, if you're scared of hearing gunfire, uh, probably don't come here. <laughs>